Hello, in this video we will be looking at what are the grounds for a divorce. There is just one legal ground for divorcing couples. The petitioner, i.e. the spouse who is starting proceedings, has to illustrate that the marriage has irretrievably broken down on the divorce petition. There are five facts you can use to show your marriage has broken down in the petition to apply for decree absolute. These facts are commonly referred to as grounds for divorce. These are Adultery Unreasonable behavior Desertion Two years separation with consent Or, five years separation when the other party did not consent You can divorce on the grounds of adultery This is used in approximately 20% of divorces in England and Wales You should use a divorce lawyer to use this ground You must have found out about the adultery within six months of you sending the divorce petition off to the court unless the adultery is still going on. You can use this as a grounds even if you are already separated. Unfortunately by law you cannot use adultery on your divorce application if you have a civil partnership. Additionally, the petitioner cannot petition for divorce on the basis of their own affair. Your spouse could launch the divorce on these grounds, or you can use unreasonable behavior instead. If you both had affairs, either one of you can file on these grounds. Many people think that admitting adultery means they will be treated worse in court during the divorce process. However, under family law this is not something considered, as the court is aware relationships between a married couple are complicated. To divorce on the grounds of unreasonable behavior, you have to show that your spouse has behaved so badly that you should not reasonably have to live with them anymore. This is the most well-used ground for divorce, with 45% of all divorces. This grounds for divorce is generally used in two main circumstances, first, where there really has been unreasonable behavior, and second, where the two spouses have drifted from each other and so want to end their marriage. In the case of divorcing on the grounds of desertation, your husband or wife has to have left you without your consent or good reason in order to bring an end to your relationship for more than two of the last two and a half years. In the case of divorcing on the grounds of desertation, Your husband or wife has to have left you without your consent or good reason in order to bring an end to your relationship for more than two of the last two and a half years. The fourth grounds for divorce is two-year separation with consent. For this, you and your spouse need to have already been separated for at least two years. Also, the respondent has to give their consent to the divorce petition. However, this can be an issue as you do have to wait two years. This can be problematic if you want to sort out your financial settlements. It is unlikely you will use this if you have got a working relationship. Lastly you can divorce on the grounds of five-year separation without consent. It is required for this, for you and your former partner to have been living separately for at least five years. Consent is not needed. That is the end of this video, but if you would like to read more you can do so on the help and advice website.